What is that promise we're giving to our clients? Why do they want to do business with us? Why are we the pretty ones? Why should they marry us when there's lots of people to date out there? Hello, friends. Stephen Harrington, Dakota, with Agency Performance Partners, talking to you today about how to develop a robust business plan for your insurance agency. I think it's something that we all kind of dread or we don't know where to start. So first in, guys, the 2025 Strategic Planning Guide is available on our website or give me a shout and I can sell it to you if you want to purchase it. But I think there's a few key things that we need to be looking at as to how to build a robust business plan for our agency. And the first one is we have to identify what are we going to be good at or what are we good at? We need to do an analysis of the market to understand what's happening, what's working and what's not, and what our competition is doing. We need to know what other people are doing well so that we're not necessarily trying to fight our neighbor, but we also need to know what they're doing not well so we know what the opportunity might be. We then need to define some clear goals and objectives. We've talked 100,000 times about those SMART goals, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. So we need to be able to set some goals that meet all those marks. So we and our team know what a good job looks like. We then need to also develop a value proposition for the agency. What makes us so special? What sets us apart? And what is that promise we're giving to our clients? Why do they want to do business with us? Why are we the pretty ones? Why should they marry us when there's lots of people to date out there? We then get into technology and automation and where to spend money. Lots of shiny objects, friends, but we need a good agency management system, somewhere to track all that data, and we need to learn how to use it well. We also then need to look at maybe a CRM or another way to integrate that we can send consistent messaging out to prospects and existing clients on other things that are available, keeping those relationships alive, and really figuring out what our demographic of client is looking for in terms of support so if we're not using it we need to delete it get rid of it cancel the contract whatever that looks like but if it's something that's going to help us greatly we need to look at it and see is it a good fit or plan for when we can afford it or integrate it into the agency we know we can't do that all at one time we also need to be focused on customer service and retention a lot of times that comes down to a comprehensive training plan that is other then state required CE. A lot of agencies are like, oh, my team does the requirement to update their license. That's not lighting the world on fire, my friends. We need to look at some structured training. How can they become better at service, more efficient with their time? How can they reach that next level? How can they get confident in overcoming those objections? Clients are throwing at them all day. How can they handle the rates, etc.? And then we need to monitor and adjust our strategy. It's not just one and done. We can't just set it and forget it. We need to consistently monitor it, tweak it, and adapt it. We need to look at what's working well, and we need to look at what's not so hot. And we need to adjust it throughout the year so we can continue being successful. And I think a great business plan also can be built over a year for the next year. So build it now, take what we got, and add to it throughout the year. Find out what's working, what's not, and keep it updated consistently so when it comes to the next year... It's not so much work. If you're looking for somebody to help you out or you want to talk more about training for your team, feel free to reach out to us at agencyperformancepartners.com. Until next time, my friends, I'm Stephen Harrington Dakota, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.